It's Prophet Tom here, and it's a joy to start our day in God's Word. We're going to continue with Acts chapter 13, and we're reading from verse 2 today. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted. Now this is a foreign title or a foreign comment to the church. You know, when we come and pray uh, to God, our prayers are generally self-centered. Father, send revival. Father, bless my uh, family. Father, save my family. But here we see in the church of Antioch that the eldership and the church came together to minister to the Lord. Minister to the Lord. What does this mean? What does it mean to minister to the Lord? Well, the definition of minister is to attend to the needs of someone. And you may say, well, God has no needs. Well, I'll dare to differ with you on that. For you see, everyone, even God, has a need. And the need that God has is for his children to love him. Is for his children to come and love him. And that's our great opportunity. And it's an opportunity that we neglect many times. We are to come before the Lord to bless the Lord. We are to come before the Lord to worship the Lord. We are to come before the Lord to love Him. And we are to come be before the Lord to wait upon Him. You know, the prayer that He gave the disciples to pray was, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That is ministering unto the Lord. Before we came in, or before Christ came in and revealing that prayer and came into the other parts, which we've taught on Facebook, uh, but here we see that he said, Our Father, acknowledge him, love him, make him the head of your home and tell him every day, Oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. You know, one of the great prizes or, or joys that I have is when my grandchildren say to me, love you, Pop. Love you, Pop. Thanks for what you're doing. Thanks for what you're doing in my life. It means so much. And that's the same with God. God loves and wants us to bless him. You know, even in the heavenly realms, we read that even the creatures that are in heaven, bless God. Listen to this in Revelations and chapter 4. Around the throne and on each side stood four living creatures full of eyes in front and behind. And the first living creature resembled a lion and the second uh, an ox and the third the human face and the fourth was like an eagle in flight. Each of the four living creatures had six wings full of eyes all around and under their wings they worship without ceasing day and night singing holy 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 is the lord god almighty that was and is and is to come wow you know here we see that the the creatures and the heavenly host uh, worship God without ceasing. You know, we're God's greatest creation. Surely we need to do the same. When we get in our cars, we need to worship Him. When we, get, uh, when we go to work, we need to worship Him. When we're sitting at home, we need to worship Him. When we're doing our housework, we need to worship Him. We need to say continually, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God. You know David knew this revelation. And in Psalms uh, 106 and verse 6, uh, we read a, a powerful, powerful verse. It says this, My innermost circle 
will only be the be those whom I know are pure and godly because see if we want to be worshiping God if we want to minister to God then we need to be like God we need to be pure and godly and then it goes on and they will be the only ones I allow to minister to me you see there is a condition on ministering to God you can't go and do the things of the world and then expect to, to enter the throne room to minister to God you know Psalms uh, 134 says this um, all his loving priest that is you and I will serve and sing come and sing your songs of blessing to God wow come and stand before him in the house of God throughout the night watch lift up your hands in holy worship come and bless the Lord may the Lord whom you worship the mighty maker of heaven and earth bless you from Zion's glory you know this is a two-way thing if we worship God he returns and blesses us wow what a thought if we worship God if we go to the midnight stand if we throughout the night uh, worship and minister to God if we worship and minister to God throughout the day he comes back and puts his loving arms around us and when he puts his loving arms around us we go forth in the glory and majesty and authority of almighty god wow praise god well our time's gone today we're going to continue this theme for a couple of days ministering to god we don't hear this in the church so much today and so we're going to continue it and open it up a little bit more well this is prophet tom have a powerful day have a powerful day and minister to the lord god bless you